guys, I hope you are all well. Um, I really liked my setup, Easter kind of setup. So I did it again this week because it looks hella cute. Um, I kind of might, maybe, sort of, might have gone shopping a little bit. Um, and I have another haul. Whoops. So it just makes me feel better if I talk through my purchases with you guys. And then I feel like I don't feel as bad for buying it all. Does that kind of work? I don't know. Let's just get into it. Okay, so I am going to start with clothing. And um, can you guess what packaging? It's Toe Show. And I have been be shopping in Topshop for an age. I've been walking past Topshop windows probably since Christmas being like, oh, there's so much stuff I like, like in there, and I've got top shop vouchers and all. So, and also, it was payday, so I thought, you know, combine vouchers and payday money. I went into top shop, and I literally walked around for like three minutes, and there was nothing that I was drawn to. I'm one of those people that walks in shops and just like touches things, like I just have to touch. If I see something that I like, I will just touch. That sounds really bad. Um, if I go shopping and I see items of clothes or something, I like, I just have to touch it. And when I went in there, I was just like, there's nothing that I want to touch in here. Like, that's, I just, there was nothing. Um, so I came home and I went online. I, I am an online shopper. Like, I prefer online shopping. As much as you don't get that instant like, oh my god, like, I can go home and look at all my clothes. And you have to wait a few days for it to come. But I just find the stress of like shopping like just effort. I'd rather just go online, read reviews, see what I like, order it. Don't, don't like it, send it back. Like it's simple. Um, so yeah, I ordered on Topshop.com and I haven't ordered on their online store for like a year. So yes, I did use some of my vouchers with this, so I didn't really have to spend that much money, which is good. Um, so. First item. Okay, so I'm just going to zoom out a little bit to show you a bit easier. So it's this kind of cute crossover top, and it has like a popper that is sewn on here, but it, then it kind of opens again here. So I'm guessing you probably have to wear a top under, or if you're feeling a bit risque, you can wear nothing. It's like a 70s kind of vibe. But it's cute. I did see one and I think it had, I thought it was red and green when I ordered it. Um, the one I saw in the shop window, um, I thought it was red and green, but obviously it's blue and brown. A bit kind of by Jade. Um, but I think that will look nice with like a pair of black jeans, kind of zhuzz it up with a pair of heels, or you can just wear it like into town or something, like to a dinner. So I, I do like that, it's cool. I'm really into this kind of low cut kind of crossover tops i think they look really nice especially when you go out and you don't want to get properly dressed up and wear a dress you can just kind of wear a bit of a little risque cute top um next we have this this reminds me of the missoni print um and it's actually like crocheted like missoni which is really good i thought it was print but it's actually crocheted it's really cute so it's got a little top and it is a crop top and i'm not a fan of crop tops but I really liked the way this is actually like knitted uh, and the colours are so cute. I thought this would be so nice for the summer. Um, so I'll probably layer it up with things um, or like high-waisted jeans or something as well because I think that would look really nice. Um, and that was £14. So for Top Shop, that's quite good for £14 for a really nice cute little top like that. And I think it would be so nice for the town and like gold jewellery and um, some of those temporary tattoo kind of gold things. I think that would look hella, 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 hella cute. So that was good. Oh, that last top was £38. And then the last thing I got, I was in a bit of a top hype in Top Chop really, was this navy blue top and it has little like cutouts here. So the arms, the cut of the arms are quite low, then there's like a little band and then another cut there. Um, so it does come down quite far. And I saw one like this in Zara and I really liked it. Um, I don't really know why I didn't get it actually. Um, 
But then I went to Topshop and I saw this one and I thought it was quite similar, so get it. And I, I really like navy blue. It's kind of like, I wear black quite a lot, but I think navy blue is like one of those good alternatives to black, because you're wearing a colour, but you're not like all black everything. Even though I spend my life mostly all black everything. Um, and this was again £38. Kind of a standard top shop price for a top, really. So, yes, they are cute. And that is what I got in top shop. Next up is makeup, because if you haven't watched my other videos, you can tell I'm a little bit obsessed with buying new makeup brushes and things. So, next up, I shopped with Beauty Bay, which this is the first time I've ever bought anything from Beauty Bay. Um, I wanted a Zoeva brush and I didn't want to pay the money that I paid last time to get it directly from their website. Um, and there's only two UK stockists, I think. So it's Beauty Bay and I can't remember the name of the other stockist, but it, Zoeva website does list all the stockists over the world. Beauty Bay, I got a Zoeva brush. I really wanted the fan, the fan one to kind of dab highlighter on, but it was sold out, so I couldn't get that one. Um, but I did get this one and it came in a cute little pouch. How cute. Um, it's a plastic pouch, but it has the weaver on it. So that might be quite a good idea. It's a bit like a few makeup brushes, like in your makeup bag or in your handbag when you just want to take a few out with you. And I got the Zoeva 109 Lux Face Paint Brush. And it actually does look like a paintbrush. Like it's really like thin and kind of gets in there. I thought this would be really good for contour, um, just to put, you know, darker bronzer like under there to like, define your cheekbones a bit. Um, but it's so white and pretty, I don't want to get it dirty. I also got another brush, as I'm obsessed with brushes. I also got the Anastasia, Anastasia, not quite sure how to pronounce it, um, Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade. Um, so it's like the eyebrow gel. And it comes in really cute packaging. This reminds me of like the Makeup Revolution packaging actually. It's got that kind of black brown colour and then the rose gold kind of writing, which I which I love. I love rose gold if I've told you that in every single video. Um, so this is the gel and I've used it a couple of times. I feel like this colour, this is the medium brown colour. And I feel like this might be a little dark for me actually. So I put it on quite lightly. I need to watch some more tutorials on how to put this on because some pictures that you see on Instagram of things using this are amazing and they're so well defined. Um, so I think I need to learn some techniques on how to put this on. So if you know a good way to do this, leave it in the comments below. I will appreciate it muchly. I also bought the um, eyebrow pen pencil in it's number 20. Um, to go with it, so I thought it'd be best to get a proper, proper makeup brush to go with it. So it has the small, really thin, it's a wide, but it's a thin tip. Um, and also the eyebrow comb at the end, so you can just, I found that if you put too much on it, it's a good way just to go like, brush it all out. And start, I would say, my tip with this is start quite lightly, like literally just dab in the gel. Don't put, like proper dig it in, because then you'll just have to write loads. It's better just to start slowly and smoothly and not put too much on. So I'm really excited to kind of learn the tips and tricks for this. What I got from Beauty Bay, um, I also went on feelunique.com and I got another makeup brush. Whoopsie. Um, it's the Real Techniques setting brush. Yeah, setting brush. Um, again, I wanted this to use kind of the highlighter under here and just like the smaller bits of powder that you would, you don't want to just brush it all on, just, you just so you can set it really. Just a little brush like that, really good just for setting under your eyes like that. It's really soft. Um, so again, I'm really excited to use that. And another brush to add to my collection. And then the last thing of my haul is the Maybelline It's an Anti-Age the Eraser Eye Perfect and Cover Conceal with go, Goji Berry. Goji, go, Goji, Goji, Goji probably. Wow. And this is in the colour light. I really wanted this to kind of go under my eyes, obviously, because it's an eye eraser. 
the eraser eye. Um, just to kind of highlight it again, so in contouring, I saw someone use this in a makeup tutorial and it looked like it worked really well. So, and also because it's got that little fuzzy, fuzzy tip, it'd be good just to get into the corners and it goes on quite smoothly and softly, hopefully. So yeah, excited to try that. So really hope you enjoyed another haul from me. Whoops. It'd be great if you could leave comments or give a like down below and subscribe to me. I will love you forever. And yeah, see you around. Bye.